So today we're hitting legs and um, basically what I'm going to go through is I'm going to show you how I improve my squat. Uh, my squat techniques changed over the years and um, it's improved dramatically. I, I now love squatting. Um, it's funny because everyone has a, a love-hate relationship with squats. You know, you, 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 you love them but you hate them really. Right now I just love them and that's it. You know, and I, to do that I had to switch up my technique. I had to um, have a complete overhaul and I'm going to go through today you know, with the, the, the changes that I made that make squatting today an enjoyable event for me. Um, one of the first things, squat shoes. You know, this, this changed everything for me. Um, you're gonna see why when I squat. Um, obviously, one of the main things that changed with my squat is depth. Um, now, going past parallel, it, it, there's a whole debate of whether you should, you shouldn't, uh, knees going over the toes, etc., etc. You know, for me, the main reason why I love squats now is because I managed to make it enjoyable for me and that made, I made it comfortable, you know, so when I squat, I now find it every rep I'm comfortable, every rep I feel, you understand, like as opposed to before where every rep was stressful um, and just not comfortable for me. So I'm going to show you today all the things that make it better. Um, a lot of people do static stretching before exercising. I've never believed in static stretching. Even when I used to like train clients back in the days of PT always dynamic stretching and dynamic stretching is where you mimic the exercise you're about to do without weight so i'm about to squat i'm going to mimic a squat no weight i'm just going to mimic the movement get the joints lubricated get the synovial fluid in the joints ready for the exercise as opposed to doing a static squat stretch as opposed to doing a static stretch i'm not about to do this you know i'm about to squat so i should squat seen with just squatting the bar, put the bar on, get the movement right, get in the motion before you start putting weight on. The main thing I changed for my squat that improved it was just a general view of not chasing weight. You know, before it was all about how heavy could I go, you know, especially when you're younger. If you go back to videos of me, like when I'm like uh, 21, 22, it's all about how much plates can I put on? How many plates can I put on? Can I do six, six plate, five plate? You know, even I think the heaviest squat I ever did was 275 kilos, you know? But if you watch that video back, which I'll probably show on this video, there's just no control of the weight, you know? And if you go back to my YouTube videos with all the weight, squatting six plates, etc., you will always find a spot behind me involved in the actual, in the actual reps, which I don't have anymore. I don't have a spot when I squat anymore. I just, I, I, I've taken it back to just making sure I feel every rep, making sure every rep counts, you know? So yeah, if you see those old videos, you'll see someone spotting me on every single weight, you know, and, and it's just not about that, you know? Um, so yeah, the main thing I did was just change, change this idea that I need to be the heaviest squatter, you know? Um, and it's all, right now, it's just about techniques, about enjoying each rep. So now if you notice, when I squat, I do squat very deep, and that's not because, you know, I'm trying to show, oh, look how squat, deep I can squat. It's, that's what I now I find comfortable. You know, before, I just wasn't comfortable with those, with, with parallel squats, you know, and parallel squats weren't really doing me justice. But now, I feel every rep, so. There, at this kind of depth, I'm perfectly comfortable. I'm ready to drive up. 
it feels perfect for me to go there. Everyone will have different mobility, but what I suggest is finding, finding a depth that works for you that is below parallel. So for me, I'm perfectly comfortable down here. I can drive, my feet are still flat on the floor. My knees may look like they've come over my toes, but when you're squatting to this kind of depth, that's fine. So when you read that knees shouldn't go over toes, it depends on what style of squatting you're actually going for. Especially with squat shoes on, giving me that heel, that allows me to, put, to assume this position. Okay, a lot of guys ask, uh, when should you use knee wraps? When should you use a belt? Um, I've always said, use them when you feel you need them. So for me, anything from three plates up, um, I, I wrap my knees and I, I throw my belt on. It's funny because when I was younger and I used to squat, I used to squat up to six plates, no belt, no knee wraps. And it wasn't a case of whether I could do it or not. The older guys in the gym used to say to me, you, want to, you should protect your knees, protect your, protect your back. Whether you need it or not, just give yourself that support. So um, obviously, this is like 10 years ago. I'm now 31. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm taking that, 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 that knowledge for what it is. And I have wrapped my knees for the last few years and used the belt when it gets to a certain weight. So for me, three plates up is when I start to wrap my knees. It might be different for you. It might be from two plates or it might even be from four, etc. But um, always protect your knees, uh, protect your back. And it also aids your lift as well. It's like, I've been chasing everything to death. So I, now regardless of how much weight's on the bar, I want the same depth, you know? So, you know, you, you, some people, the heavier it gets, the, the more shallow the squat will get. For me, I, I, that would be un unacceptable. So I'm always going for the depth, regardless of what weight's on there. So even with this weight now, I'm still gonna sit down on it, just like I did with the one plate. <laughs> And the way I've worked up to doing that is just by, you know, practicing with lighter weight and slowly working up, you know? It, there was a point where not being able to squat what I used to kind of did tick me off a bit, but now I don't really care, you know? It might not be as heavy as it, it, it once was, but it's better squats, you know? As you've noticed, no matter what the weight was, it was always to depth, even when we went up to the four and a half. You know, so it's just about feeling comfortable. Like I remember when I used to hit the five and the six, I was so like anxious going under because I didn't really feel like I had it. And fact of the matter is, there was always a spot behind me. So technically I never really did have it, did I? You know, for me, it's just about owning the weight. 
take that weight off, get the depth on it, drive up, you know, feel every rep, you know. So uh, yeah, I've changed my squat to, 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 to be more comfortable. Now I love squatting and I enjoy every rep. All right, so now we are moving on. Still squatting, lots more sets to go, except we're now gonna aim to hit the outer thigh, outer quad. So we're gonna go for a close stance, keep the feet together. Again, I've gone straight back to the bar, so I wanna get make sure that I've got my technique right. 